awesome people, this is Sherwin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, of course, we are visiting Venus International and we get the opportunity to talk to the owner, Mr. Placid Reddy. Come, join me. So this is Mr. Placid Reddy's office and we are going to visit him. Ang Venus International ay puntahan ng mga kapwa natin OFWs na nandito sa Muscat Oman at ito ang kumbaga itinuturing natin na utangan ng bayan. And today, our guest is none other than the owner of Venus International LLC. Let's welcome Mr. Placid Reddy. Hello, sir. Hey, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I'm really excited uh, for this interview. Of course, I would like to say thank you as well for giving us the chance for this interview. You're yeah, welcome. Sir. First, I would like to get to know you, Mr. Placid. Where are you from? I'm from India, mm -hmm. uh, a city called Bangalore. I was mm -hmm. born there. Mm -hmm. So, studied there mm -hmm. and moved to Oman in 1984. So, when you moved to Oman, did you start a business right away or did you no, work first? No, sir. I, uh, I was working for a company. It's mm -hmm. a photographic company. Mm -hmm. Those what days, did you do exactly then? I was a sales salesperson, mm -hmm. a salesman there. And from a salesman, I, I grew up to a sales manager in the same company. Mm -hmm. I spent 15 years in that company. Mm -hmm. Then way back in 2003, I opened this, which was my dream. I wanted uh -huh. to set up something on my own. And by God's grace, yes, I could. I wanted to talk about this dream that you said you actually thought about ever since you were young. Yeah. While you were working as a salesman for Konica, yes, you said, did you ever think that it would actually happen, this dream of yours? Yes, I always, because I, mm -hmm. I was confident, you know, and, mm -hmm. and I always had the faith that our God is with me and mm -hmm. somehow I managed to get into business. So the lesson here is never give up on your dreams. Yes, yes, okay. that's it. Okay. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the secret of my success. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Venus International LLC. The first thing that comes to my head is why Venus of all the names? I always wanted some planets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. There was Jupiter, there was a company, Mars, mm -hmm. there was a company. Then yes. Venus is okay. I said, okay, something easy for the Mars to mm -hmm. remember, right? And to think Venus is considered one of the most beautiful planets. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, when you started this business, did you originally plan to target the Filipino market? Mm, yes and no. Because yes was... Uh, Earlier there was every supermarket, I mean of course now also there was mm -hmm. and I could see a lot of Filipino community and mm -hmm. all that and I was kind of uh, interested in all those karaoke machines those days, uh -huh. yeah. So when I brought in one or two karaoke machines, the response was tremendous. Oh yeah. So you were the first ones to supply video commission yeah, back Yeah, video commission in Oman, yeah. Uh -huh. And then uh, when we started getting a little Filipino mm -hmm. customers, uh, TFC approached us. Yes. Because they found out that uh, this is an electronic shop and... TFC, the Filipino, the Filipino channel, channel. channel. ABS-CBN. Yeah. ABS-CBN. Yes. That was way back in 2006. Mm -hmm. So th those days it was very expensive, you know, not everybody could afford to buy yes. a TFC. Yeah. But mm -hmm. later on the prices went down and mm -hmm. we had, when, uh, till 2014, we had around about 6,000 subscribers, which was big. And yeah. we have won several awards for that. Yes. So. And to think that you were the only one provider of TFC back here. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. You're the pioneer, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we got connected mm -hmm. to the Filipino community. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you were the provider of TFC to mm -hmm. Filipinos here. So you are suddenly 
becoming popular to the Filipino market. Yes. And then this shop originally I heard was just a watch shop when you started. Yes. How did you expand to electronics? Shop? Well, uh, like I said, it's I, I God's grace. Mm -hmm. So when we started uh, the watch shop, it was in 2000. Mm -hmm. But still, I was working. My mm -hmm. company gave me permission to to start a business. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you're yeah. Lucky. I was yeah because yeah. Uh, they said it doesn't disturb our uh, thing. So, mm -hmm. but 2003, the the shop next to us vacated. This one. Yeah, this okay. one. And then I was thinking, wow, this is the right time to set up. Uh, mm -hmm. Electronic outlet. Did you have to register another business, or it's just an expansion of the watch shop? Uh, no, we uh, according to the law here, we need to have uh, activities into the commercial registration. Mm -hmm. So we put in electronics, perfume, mm -hmm. everything into. Mm -hmm. So, so when you started this business, business Venus International LLC, back then originally you thought it was going to be a watch shop. Yes, we started with the watch shop, but yeah. I never thought I'm going to set up an electronic shop. Mm -hmm. What pushed you to do this electronic? Yeah, shop? when uh, when I saw because it could have been a supermarket, you know, oh, it could yeah. have been a yeah. you know a furniture shop. Yeah, but I was always fascinated with gadgets. Okay. Yeah, so you know, for me it's like the video okay and all that yes. so i knew that there's no such outlet here mm -hmm. in oman mm -hmm. providing video okay karaoke machine mm -hmm. so that's how i said okay let me put my mm -hmm. hands into this business and to be honest with you i feel right now that venus international is actually enjoying a lot of popularity especially to the filipino market with this live facebook live yes, and yeah. with the network that it expands yeah. you are actually getting the right people yes, to sir. handle the marketing for you yeah. Yeah. because you know back when i was in my city and i saw the facebook live mm. i wasn't even friends with these people yeah. gerald Allen. okay but i just saw a video of someone mm. singing yeah so i was hooked i said why is he singing so i clicked mm. and i feel like it was a brilliant idea to mm. do singing and selling, selling at the same yeah. time because we filipinos actually love to sing yes, yes. and you are offering us something that we love to do video key machines and all yes, that stuff so. i want to ask you because i asked alan about this who asked you to do the live? And then Alan said it was actually Mr. Placid's idea. Yeah. Where did you get the idea of uh, using Facebook for marketing? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is like, I, you know, you accidentally come across, you know, yeah. you're, you're uh, browsing your mm -hmm. Facebook page, then yes. suddenly you see the other company is having some. Yes. Then I said, wow, this is the right idea. I think we should we should do it. But I'm sure I was inspired by the Filipinos, mm -hmm. you know, yes. because they are one step ahead of us, <laughs> the other community, <laughs> Thank in, you, in terms of, you know, Facebook yeah. or uh, yeah. social media. Mm -hmm. So then I said, wow, this is the right thing. Mm -hmm. And I, we have good people to, yeah, especially Gerald is helping us. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Alan and Vaji are doing a wonderful mm -hmm. job. Yes. Along with the Indian staff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I am a actually living testimony that Facebook marketing actually helps yes. because I never heard of Venus International me mm. from outside Muscat. Yes. Probably for people from Muscat already know about yeah. Venus International, but I actually live alone, isolated mm. in Ibra, yeah. that is uh, an hour away from Muscat. Yes. So getting the opportunity to watch the Facebook Live yeah. gives me also the chance to meet the people from Venus International and get to know the business as well. Yeah. Thus, this yeah. interview. Yes, yeah. And now, you know, uh, frankly speaking, from last two weeks, I'm getting so many friend requests. Uh -huh. All, all, all Filipino, Filipinos. Filipinos. <laughs> yes. So I'm, <laughs> I'm you know. excited. You know, I, I mean, the more you, yes. you have, you know, your product yes. is... Uh, Covered, you know. Thank you for bringing that up because I actually want to talk about that, the Filipino mm. market. Mm. How do you find them? What can you say about the Filipino customers coming here to the shop and well, visiting them? Well, 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 this is one question I really want to answer, you know. I will tell you I'm a very blessed person to have the Filipino community, you know. Yes. Not, not everybody, not, uh, I mean, not uh, other communities get involved with a different uh, thing, but mm -hmm. as an Indian, I never thought that I will get totally, you know, if you look Immersed. at my Facebook page, <laughs> I think 90% of Filipino friends. Oh. Okay, yeah. So, and uh, you can see the awards, you see, we've been, yes. yeah. 
and those days when I was probably 10 15 years younger I was more active you know into the embassy and you know mm -hmm. all those community services mm -hmm. but now since I I'm uh, moved to Malaysia mm -hmm. I don't spend much time here mm -hmm. but working with the Filipino communities Mm -hmm. I pri I'm privileged. <laughs> yes. It's a if pleasure. there are words, say for example, two or three words that you would describe the Filipino community, the Filipino customers, what are, are these words? <laughs> I'm sorry for, for putting you on the yeah, spot. Yeah, but I will not get the right word. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they are the best mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. among the rest. Yes. That's what I can yes. say. Yeah. And what I feel about Venus International is once you enter the shop, yeah. you start a family, a Filipino yeah. community. Because really, the first time I got here, you were not even here. Yeah. They welcomed me with a song, mm -hmm. and then they started talking to me like they know me for like such a long time. So I said, wow, this is Venus International yeah. family. And I kept on coming back. And what made me even happier is when Alan told me, the owner, Mr. Placid, wanted to meet you. And I said, oh, wow, I really belong in Venus International. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the vibe that you're actually setting out there. And actually, I think Filipinos feel this. Thank you. Also, I heard that you moved to Malaysia. Yes. From India to Muscat, Oman, and yes. then to Malaysia. Yes. Why did you move to Malaysia? Well, uh, every human being feels that you need to retire right oh yeah so i'm not i'm not retired but we felt like mm -hmm. going moving back to india is yes. going to be again you know from scratch because yeah. uh, frankly speaking next year i'll be completing 40 years in oman mm -hmm. so it's a long way yeah. yeah when i left i was 23 years old so i'm 63 what now. a journey huh? yeah so we felt malaysia is a nice place to mm -hmm. live uh, as an expat mm -hmm. so we, we moved to Malaysia and uh, I, I keep traveling to mm -hmm. Oman because Oman has been my second home yes. always so you know the Oman uh, Omanis are one of the best among the Middle Eastern mm -hmm. So, so since you moved to Malaysia, did you ever think of closing Venus International LLC? Well, uh, that's what my family wanted, you know, you, mm -hmm. my uh, family wanted me to rest. They said, no, now I think it's high time you, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to give up. We had so many employees and the business was going well. Yes. And so we didn't want to. And mm -hmm. only thing is every time I need to travel seven to eight hours and that's a little thing, but mm -hmm. otherwise, Everything yes. is fine, yeah. We yeah. have good staff who are taking yes. care of, like the like a family. Yes. Yeah, we are like a family, uh -huh. yeah. So, that's it. I'm curious about the pandemic. How did it affect your business? Well, it was really one of the worst mm -hmm. time in our business for the uh, thing, you know. We lost a lot of money in the market yeah. and uh, you, you know everyone went through a hardship during mm -hmm. the pandemic but luckily we are back. Mm -hmm. We are back and uh, we are proud to say that we are doing mm -hmm. much better now. During the pandemic, did it ever occur to you to shut down the business because I know that's what happening back then yeah many businesses closed down they mm. shut down because they could not continue anymore mm, yeah so what about you well uh, not that we we didn't uh, find I mean we didn't think about closing down but we mm. were thinking of you know trying to get all the money from the market because it was huge yes. and you know frankly speaking Virgi our uh, Filipino uh, who takes care of the credit uh, collection mm -hmm. she did a wonderful job mm -hmm. you know uh, we never expected that she can recover that we recovered 99 98% that's because it was Filipinos yes, you know yes. I, I with my experience I always thought Default in Filipino is probably 0.1 percent, mm -hmm. not others. So that's why there's a lot of customers coming and asking us, how come you are only uh, giving a uh, installment mm -hmm. plan to Filipinos? Filipinos. But how come? Are you making it exclusively for Filipinos? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you and, for that. And uh, earlier we were linked to mm -hmm. OFW office mm -hmm. here and yes. they were supportive they said yes. if any payment problems there you can let us know we can help yeah. but we didn't there thank one, god you don't need yeah them. we don't we don't <laughs> there are few yes. filipinos who left the country mm -hmm. but went to philippines then called us they said can we transfer the payment from there oh wow well, 
or can we give it to somebody in Philippines? So we, our colleagues have already informed them and collected the payment. Mm -hmm. That's that's how it is working with Filipinos. Wow. Yeah, that is really yeah. good to know. I mean, this is the reason why uh, Filipinos come here because they have utang. There's like you can actually get the gadgets even without cash. And what's good to know from the owner side is that you really trust the Filipino yes, customers. Yes, yes. We really pay. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Wow, this is the place to get your gadgets. <laughs> You told me that you're a high school dropout. Yes. And here you are, with your, running your own business. Yes, yeah, that's why mm -hmm. you have the confidence and the willpower. Mm -hmm. You can. Did you ever think that just because you're a high school dropout, you would not be able to attain all these things? Well, no. If I had thought about it, I think I wouldn't have reached this mm -hmm. position. But mm -hmm. I always, always uh, felt that I can. And God has been with me. Did anyone ever tell you you're just a high school dropout? Why would you ever start a business? Uh, no, I, nobody has told me. But uh, the family members felt that I think okay, this guy is <laughs> not hopeless. Going to, yeah, hopeless. <laughs> so, but now yes, everybody mm. is proud of me, and mm. yeah. So, what can you say to the people out there who are actually thinking of starting out their businesses? Yeah, everyone can do it yeah. if you have the confidence and willpower mm -hmm. you can do it regardless of your qualifications yes, yes, your yes, education yes. you just have to work on your yeah. dreams and go I, I still remember this is just a personal thing is I wanted to quit my company because I had a dream of you know I always dreamt that you know I should do something yes. on my own friends my childhood days then one fine day I come home and and tell my wife I'm thinking of quitting the job and setting up a company mm -hmm. of my own wow she said yes you go ahead oh she was yeah, so supportive yeah i was i was you know i'm still thankful for mm -hmm. her you know if she had said oh my god yeah. are you going to do this if she had given but normally i don't take i don't go and discuss with this but wife is mm -hmm. your partner right so i when she said you can do it yeah i am that's it Oh. But it's better we don't go on discussing with people mm -hmm. to find out whether we are yes. going because it's your life. Yes. You want to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So overall, you don't really like if you have a dream and you're yes. working on it, you don't really have to listen to what the people say yes. about you. Yes. You just have to be focused and go get it because after all, you're the one who's going to going. make your dream it's happen, true, true. not the people, people around you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are also a traveler, Mr. Placid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and luckily I got a partner, my wife, who is also, who also loves, uh, to yeah, travel. loves travel. Okay. So that's why we, she'll say, okay, can we go like this? Okay, we'll go. Uh -huh. and, and you know, when pandemic started, we were in Japan. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so it was in March, right? Mm -hmm. Pandemic started yes, in March. March February we were. Yeah. February 2020 we were in Japan, mm -hmm. and every time news that Oman is going to shut down his border and all. See, mm -hmm. this is the first time in your life you come across something like mm -hmm. this. So you really don't know what exactly. Did you get stuck in Japan? No. We 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 came back and I came mm -hmm. back to Muscat. Okay. Then uh, Muscat, they said. 12th of March 2020, yeah. there's going to be a lockdown. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, yeah. But you were still traveling during yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But yeah. the restrictions were terrible, right? No, after, after March 2020, the restrictions started. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Before that, yes, we could. Mm -hmm. mm. There um, was one incident I can tell you. Yes. I, uh, when I was traveling Oman Air between um, Muscat, uh, Sing, uh, Kuala Lumpur to Bangkok, mm -hmm. those days they stopped direct flight. Yes. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, Bangkok, mm -hmm. uh, Muscat. Yes. I was the lone passenger. I still have photographs. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would <laughs> like to have that photograph. Yeah, I will. I will. So, how did it feel flying it, oh along? Oh, my God. It was kind of, you know, I, I walked into the check in counter, they looked at me, sir, are you traveling to Muscat? Yes. And they mm. were looking at each other and, you know, then I asked them, is the flight full? Yes. They said, no, sir, you are the only <laughs> only passenger. Said, now what? I'm thinking maybe they were just wishing you would not show up, so they would just like take the rest, you know, yeah, take a day but, off. But after they checked in, they closed the counter uh -huh. and the, uh, the, the country manager walked with me to the to the, to the flight okay. and inside the uh, aircraft the aerostat said 
this whole well, thing is yours <laughs> your wow. whatever you want you can have it did they at least put you in the business class no i mean it was so vacant so nothing like ah, okay. just 248 seats or something yeah, yeah? just all for yourself yeah mm-hmm. so it was early in the morning 6 mm-hmm. in the morning so i couldn't have anything yeah. <laughs> fun experiences yeah. traveling yeah. i'm actually wondering how many countries have you traveled to uh i've Uh, across 33 countries now 33 so countries. now next to, uh, canada is going next to add next after month. this yes, yeah, next after month this. you're going to canada so. from all these travels i would like you to tell me the highlights like say for example the most memorable trip that you have you've ever been to see i always love china as i always said china is number one but mm-hmm. after going to japan i can say japan is number one what makes japan number one uh the people mm-hmm. the beauty of the country mm-hmm. and i mean everything everything about the food mm-hmm. yes and yeah the beauty of the country and the mm-hmm. people it's very important the people you see and uh, that's how it is what's one place that you haven't been to but would love to go to mm. I still don't have anything in my mind. Oh, because oh, yeah. of all these places yes, that you've been, been to, right? I have been, yeah. Yes. US, everybody asks me why you mm. didn't go to US, but I'm, I I don't know, I'm not so fond of US. Yes. Canada I'm going is because my daughter is there. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay, this is one million question that probably you guys, my viewers, Filipinos, are hoping I would ask. Have you ever been to the Philippines? Of course, yes, sir. How many times you have know, you been only, there? And only, tell me about only that. Only once I've been. Uh, that was... asked by the embassy to go because we opened a travel agency mm-hmm. here then they said uh, you need to go to you have to promote philippines mm-hmm. so i went and met a lot of tourist yes. uh, agent there mm-hmm. and uh, i got the uh, chance of going to abs cbn studio oh yeah okay. met most of the artists how long did you stay in the philippines i think 6 uh, days 6 days yeah okay can you tell me your general impression it's It's a beautiful country. Mm-hmm. Though uh, it was since it was official trip, mm-hmm. I couldn't explore. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of places we need to explore, mm-hmm. but I was busy going around, and uh, so I cannot elaborate on the country. Mm-hmm. But as the people are the best, one am- one among the best. <laughs> Thank you. You know, that. I I will tell you when I came back from the Philippines. This is these are the words mm-hmm. I used. I felt like a king. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Especially when we went I went into the those malls and mm-hmm. all right from the security guard to the sales people you know that kind of they show courtesy, so much respect courtesy yes. and respect mm-hmm. is, that's why mm-hmm. I think the Filipinos are probably the number one in the hospitality wow, industry. Wow, thank you. Yeah. I always say that, yeah. If given a chance, would you go back? Well, of course, yes. I'm mm-hmm. I'm willing to go back and in fact I've told my wife also mm-hmm. I think we should take a holiday there. Wow. Thank you so much Mr. Thank Placid for this you. chance and opportunity chance to get you too. to get to know you more personal. And of course, at this point I would like to ask you to invite our fellow Filipinos out there watching this vlog to come visit Venus International Please. LLC. Thank you. Yeah, and any any gadgets you want uh, on uh, I I I remember the word utang. Utang. Uh, utang yes. Yeah. So all you have to come and meet our uh, sales staff. Mhm. Uh, Mr. Allen and uh, Ms. Vaji. Mhm. So, thank you. Thank you Mr. Plus. And so all of you guys out there, kung utang ba ang hanap niyo dito lang sa Mascat Oman, wala kayong ibang dapat puntahan kundi ang Venus International LLC. Wala pong problema dahil kapwa natin mga kababayan ang nagtatrabaho dito. It is easier to talk to them, of course, and it is also easy to get the gadgets that you want kung wala ka pang cash. Thank you Mr. Plus. Thank you.